ready to go to ISIS yet? I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore. All systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? <laughs> it is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart you mean scattered, broken, and lost, then yes, you are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again, united as one clan under one banner. Mine. Ah yes, the Great Crusade. After the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi, such a defeat was merciful, an echo of the end, when your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V, and I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the huts. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again, I promise you. That is the future. Indeed. The future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no New Age Mandalore, no great Mandalorian crusade. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since. A quiet death that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me. A man, wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi whelp are going to keep you safe from me? No, Mandalore, you are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even following them into darkness. Do you wonder where he wanders now, Mandalore? Why he betrayed you at the end, cast you down, left you broken at the edge of the galaxy? How do you know that? I know many things, and I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. She is important to me, more important than anything. Show the same loyalty you have shown in the past, Mandalore. If there is a Mandalorian crusade, let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. The one I travel with has walked your same path, and I ask that when the end comes, that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. Forget the Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. Mm. One, two, three. Mandalorians, we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our perimeter. Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Our enemy has tracked us here. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help.
to battle.
Vaklu's saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That shooter! Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. Here we are. The city of Isis. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu is close to declaring martial war. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. It's been a while since you've docked here, eh? I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. Oh, it must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The blockade has been bad for everyone. Your manifest says it's been two months since you last came here. It's become much worse since your last trip. Military checkpoints are everywhere. Nothing new. Our space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. Tensions are running high. All Republic vessels must be searched, and the delays are turning pilots grey before their time. And ever since the Republic fired on our space forces, things have been even slower. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly, if I were your friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so the inspection's just a formality. Here's your starport visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. If you want to leave the planet, you need a starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. There's strict food and water rationing, and General Vaklu's troops have been very thorough in finding Republic dissidents. Bombing's very common.
Certainly. Mind what I said about the Starport visa. I know one captain already who can't get back into the Starport. Fair winds to you, Offworlder. Is it too much to hope that you are a Talosian merchant? of misfortune then. Our beasts will continue to wait in their cages. I am a beast rider. I have flown great distances gathering the animals you see here. We keep hoping that Ethorians or Telosians get through the Space Force's searches so that we can sell them. Telos was attacked by Darth Malak in the Jedi Civil War. The surface was completely destroyed. The Athorians have been searching for appropriate wildlife to create a new Telos, but their merchants are stalled by the blockade. They have been kept in their cages for a long time, but yet at times, I feel as if something else is affecting them, frightening them. Perhaps it is the city itself. Isis has fallen upon dark times, and tensions run high in the streets. Calm. Calm. What? Run! The bomber is out of control! that grow in the telling. Not since my first Drexel have I lost control of a beast. I apologize profusely. Here, I give you these credits for the danger I put you in. The beast grow more agitated by the day. The stories say that the smoldering fires of city politics cast a smoke they can smell and breathe. They revert to their primal instincts. As... as you've just seen, when they get that way, not even a skilled beast rider can control them. As soon as I leave here, I will talk with my family. There is much to be discussed. Please keep them. It salves the shame my beast's behavior has brought me. Halt, Offworlder. You'll have to answer some questions before you go into the city. What is your business on Isis? Uh, why not? I can see you have no crates or cargo, and your ship is obviously not affiliated with the Republic. You're free to go. Don't lose your starport visa, otherwise you won't be leaving for a long while.
Let's hurry this up. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for Isis Calm. You're a Republic spy, and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. But, well, you can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have proof that Vaklu is withholding information on the so-called Republic. One more word of treason out of you. What are you looking at? This is none of your business. Please, ma'am, help me. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I'm just a journalist, not a spy. This spy has been using his position as a journalist to spread lies and dissent among our people. No doubt he's been up to other treasonous activity as well. But that's just crazy! I was a member of the Resistance. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars. Yes, and your disloyalty now deeply sickens me. A warrant? General Vaklu passed an edict giving the military broad authority to detain and question anyone suspected of treasonous activity. It was specifically meant for us to pick up spies like this before they could leave Isis or go underground. That is classified military information. I don't have time to answer your barbed questions off-worlder. Men, let him go. We'll be back with a court order. Then we'll take him to the barracks. And you, you should watch yourself. You don't want to be known for siding with people like him. I don't know how to thank you. I'm getting out of Isis now. Eventually they'll come back for me. After that, I have a feeling no one will hear from me again. Thank you. Please, Captain, help me. My children and I are desperate to get off of Onderon. Do you have an open starport visa? My husband was killed by General Vaklu's troops. Our home was seized, and we were cast out. We have seen many wars on Isis, and I know war is coming. I want to spare my children from bloodshed. I've told you our story. Please, won't you help us? My husband, he was part of the Isis Council. He was a strong supporter of the Queen and the Republic. His views weren't always popular. Over time, he became convinced that Vaklu was trying to kill Queen Talia. He... he tried to kill Vaklu. To protect the Queen. The conspiracy was discovered, and he was shot during the arrest. What he did was wrong. And our life has been so difficult since then. I just want to get off this planet and start a new life. Please, help us. No one else will. In the Council of Lords today, Lord Dashiel recommended a special commendation for Colonel Tobin due to his brilliant command of our armada in the skies above Onderon. Without him, Lord Dashiel said, the Republic attack would surely have done more damage. Tobin is one of Isis's greatest heroes and deserves recognition. Please tell me you're an off-worlder. You came from the spaceport, right? But this is good news. You have a starport visa, right? I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. These soldiers ensure that I don't forget these formalities. Watch it, Keg. The captain already has enough complaints about you. No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Pay the soldier no heed. Pr pretend he isn't here. General Vaklu is concerned about well-armed insurgents. They've had to get arms from somewhere. Not for me, of course, but all sales of weapons have been severely restricted. I can only sell to off-worlders like you that have the proper clearance. <laughs> and now off-worlders can't come here because of the blockade and searches, but <laughs> it's a wise policy. <laughs> I 
Of course! Soldiers are only doing their job. Even if it puts me out of business, I am happy. <laughs> Even if I'm forced to live off scraps in the street, I am so happy to do my part. <laughs> Long live General Vaclu! There must come a time when the Queen bows to the will of the people. The Republic has brought nothing but war and death. In our 50 years of flying their colors, we have had more war than the past millennia. Back General Vaclu in his effort to make her see reason. We do not need the Republic. They need our resources, our world, and our blood. For all that we have given now, we get nothing. The Republic is weak and falling apart. Its Jedi, whose fallen brethren have brought such misery to us, have disbanded. Let's be the first world to take our future into our hands. Are you with me? No, they take from us. They are like Minox, sucking energy and resources from so many worlds. They bleed us for their bureaucracy and their excesses. That's enough, Ponlar. If you keep this up, you're going to spend time in detention. You're coming awfully close to treason. You can't silence me forever, soldier. But I'll keep my peace. For now. These are dangerous times. People like Ponlar aren't making it any easier. I'm quite busy right now. Perhaps later. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Ya sora ku tuka ulwanji yuma litba. Shanek ma winbok lelenko so baramwe. Da hupa bosa kurata go jujutu yoki. Hiata yamba wajia aki yuki totune. Kavadumba munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanji yuma. Mogachi norta hirembe wanachi. Kaki mogo krabo, drum pabana karas mangra, kalala vadumba kompaile mokata. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura, tayaita, ta bosananansata. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora, ya sora ku tuka ulwanji yuma litba, shanek ma winbok lelenko sobara mwe. Kavadumba munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanji yuma. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita ta bosananansata. Fereki mangradu no koherete. Jun sombo marampi no su klala so buto. Kristo chuentisime soto. Taracho mo sincho kava volpa muleji kumana minta barawamba miche dos kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura tayaita ta bosana nansata on dollar no saka drum pabana karas mangra tovre kun mili wosa slima po wanga samoana mucha Rabi nu ko so baramwe, masako chiro, chucho vichi, prem kamsa. Dachi mo dan chanek ma winbok lelen telen me pilan. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Ya sora ku tuka ulwanji yuma litba. Chanek ma winbok lelen ko so baramwe. 
Taracho Mosincho Cavavolpa Muleji Gumanaminta Barawamba Michedos Cavadumpa Munsuru Kupla Liawa Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Ulwanji Uma Dawancha Mori Consova Mawani Dinchori Kitsodu Sobarenwa Dorchine Sobawata Yes, human sentient. I want to hear the answer to this as well. Do you stand with youthful idealism or with political pragmatism? Dovrekun mili wosa slima po guanga samoana muta. She is a reed in the wind, too frail to stay in place. She will be blown in every direction, and ultimately, to no advantage for herself or her people. You are so naive as well. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Ya sora ku tuka ulwanji yuma alithba. Shanek ma winbok lelenko sobaramwe. Da hupa, bo sakurata, go jujutu yoki. Hiata yamba wajiaki yukito tune. Tinachara, Granacha, Ganoviso, Toto Lando Grandi, Gerando Nosh Wiwana Hoto, Rakichi San, Donacito Noroquipa Shakani, Rakichi San, Donacito Noroquipa Shakani, Dakosha, Mucho Tono, Punta Chacorzo Mama, Gotashjuna Onanashani, Visitisa Cholo. Jumkaratoka, Chonabongawe, Takiya Bahasa Chan, Honka Kilikun. Oh, no. 
dag on Ghent's place. He's not the best doctor you'll ever meet, but he's well connected in this city. Doesn't look like he's here right now, though. You looking for Dagon? You're not gonna find him here. A soldier captain was murdered at the cantina real good. They got some suspects at the tower. From what I hear, Dagon Ghent is one of them. It's the turret tower on the other side of the market. Captain Riken is the man to talk to. If you talk to him, tell him I got his 20 credits. Some mogo dosi ishe ba dente school in most of it much. Pitare shan, bram tavat in soju. Da kome just mak miki baranje to so so rika chodi. Wana magravi. Ya tuka wo wana rika chodi wani ma orata wakata ji luma. Kavo dumpa mo wendi do chokere mi norta kunyun wish chawa kachuba sura dachi moro tuko kanza.
Nice to meet you, sentient. Are you interested in a friendly game of Pazak? The deck is warm, the drink is plentiful. Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? Know him. He's probably my best friend on this planet. Honestly, he's not a very good doc doctor, but he is a great, great drinking companion. I'd much rather talk about something else. I thought it was you. I served in the Mandalorian Wars with you. You're a Jedi, right? I was one of the ground troops. We fought on Daggery Minor together. It was near the beginning of the war. We, uh, we didn't win that battle. Enough of the past. The whole galaxy isn't safe for Jedi now, especially here. Onderon has suffered through three wars started by fallen Jedi. Do you still serve the Republic? That's the first good news I've had in months. I was sent by the Republic Senate to investigate certain delicate matters that are happening on Onderon. It's worse than we feared. I have to get to Coruscant to deliver my report, but days before I was planning to leave, they started requiring starport visas. After the Jedi Civil War, the Republic was weak, and the cost of the Jedi Order was staggering. This entire region is unstable, and the entire Republic government could collapse. If Onderon secedes, other worlds may follow, and that can't be allowed to happen. Trade between our worlds has brought economic prosperity, and people just take it for granted. All worlds are now interconnected. The Senate also smooths over differences, and is a great instrument for peace if the Republic falls apart. A thousand little wars born out of petty rivalries will erupt over time. Eventually, the entire galaxy could be thrown into a dark age. I really can't say. The most I will say is stay clear of General Vaklu. His ambition knows no bounds. I believe the people of Isis are absolutely correct. A civil war is brewing. And Vaklu may very well win if I can't get to Coruscant in time. What do you want to know about that night? Dagon Ghent didn't do it. Because he was with me at the time. It's quite simple. Right now he's accused of murder. If he's convicted, the sentence is death. If he's accused of espionage, let's say, assisting a Republic spy, then the penalty for that is death. I'm afraid the Andoronians are quite fond of their death penalty. So if I stood up for him, he'd be trading one death sentence for another. I was with Dagon in his office at the time of the murder. He definitely wasn't involved with her murder. We were taking great pains not to be seen which has a certain irony to it, really. If you can free him, please do. He's been invaluable with his help to the Republic. I only wish there was something I could do to help him.
Assuming we get Dagon free, we're going to have a few private words about this. Together, we fought against the Republic during the Mandalorian Wars. I don't particularly like the idea that he's working for them now. The information I have is vital to the Senate. I hope you can help. Thank you for the tip. The journey to Coruscant would be more costly and attract more attention. But there are many freighters bound for Telos. My mission requires the most extreme caution and delicacy. I don't want to risk going through channels to get a visa. General Vaklu is not above arranging an accident for me. I'm taking a great risk talking to you, but I'm running out of options. Thank you, but this is a personal starport visa. It is key to you and you alone. I appreciate your gesture, but I need an open starport visa. Those are transferable and work for anyone. Helping me is not without its risks. I know you have Jedi training, so you can probably handle it. But I may be being watched. If, if that would compromise your mission, perhaps we should go our separate ways. There's got to be something you need, something you want. I have connections, many connections in the city. I can provide high quality, unique weapons that you won't be able to find elsewhere. I even have a rare lightsaber crystal, something you'd never find elsewhere. If you need money, I'll pay you 5,000 credits. All I ask is get me one open starport visa. I really can't be any help with that. I might have been in the same detention cell that night that Dagon's in now. The soldiers were asking me some entertaining questions that night. I've got no idea what was going on. Let's just say I'm one of their usual suspects. Sort of comes with the territory. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I want to talk to you about. Many Jedi have fought on this world. One of them lost their lightsaber in the Beast Wars. A reliable source says it's a rare Quixoni crystal. Incredibly rare and valuable. Quixoni crystals were warmed by a dying sun millennia ago. Only a handful were obtained before the sun went nova. Their power is rumored to be great. I see that's grabbed your interest, eh? There's only one way you're going to get it. One open starport visa. No visa, no crystal. This room is reserved, off-worlder. Huh. If you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. I know his face, that's about it. His office is on Bekel's turf. She's a beast rider like me and our leader. You better never be speaking ill of her, or else. Manamprotarawanjikasa Tanja ni te mau imbo kranta mi pilan. Munga chinor ta imbrei wana chiki. Drumba bamba konti chan munga. Kava dumba kuswaka ta yamuka ta. Kawana bota yunta tanga kina matura. Ta yaita ta bosana nansa ta. Gavadumba Munsuru Kupla Liyawa Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Ulwanji Yuma Gavadumba Munsuru Kupla Liyawa 
Bo bagaragawanda yay tua ulwan di uma. Muli urawa iberendi ati a wisdo nunga se. Uta di ramat mandrako tu sa minaringa di. Good to see you again. Any luck with the visa? Really? I've been looking for one for weeks. Thanks. You've done a tremendous service for the Republic. Now I have to catch the first shuttle out of here. May the Force be with you. Donos emaragith, wanarakorachi drunka sa inchobin sasha, dosimana. Dawa josimu poenda rakawa ichi vendumu mo parama kawana abawasi. You crawl and one mapusichi nolara, do mababe want to susin to mukarata. Tu es rectonatada be mabar chokto. Torenibu in tu rata sis in wamagro. General, we have found them again. Have we, Tobin? Or is this a preface to another of your failures? Consider the whole field, Tobin. Why would a Jedi risk all of this just to come to Isis? The crew of the Ebon Hawk is elusive, General. We were warned about that, but we still underestimated them. But the fools are here, in Isis. The intel on this is certain. I'm ordering men loyal to us to take care of them now. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Hold that order. Have her watched instead. The Jedi may prove a solution to another one of our persistent problems. <laughs> 